afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the second teleconference of school principal with teaching and non-teaching personnel. To start, may I request everyone to please be silent for the opening prayer and to be followed immediately by the singing of the national anthem, Deped Vision, Mission, and Goal. Opening prayer. Most loving Father, we thank you for the gift of this new day. Please help us to use it for your honor and glory. By your grace, may all your thoughts, words, and actions be pleasing today in your sight. In your great kindness, Lord Almighty, preserve us on this day without sin and protect all your people from every evil. May the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of our Savior, keep us under her protection and by her prayers and the aid of your saints. Keep us ever intent on doing good for your sake. We ask these blessings through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. The Deped Vision We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. The DepEd mission to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff, as stewards of the institution, ensure enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Depth at core values. Makajos, makatao, makakalikasan, makabansa. Okay, so at this juncture, may I present to you the following agenda for today's second teleconference. First is the depth ed updates. The second is the orientation on the four identified learning modalities of the Tobacco National High School parents for their students. So at this juncture, let us now welcome our first resource speaker for this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome our very able school principal for Mom Elena B. Tassik. Thank you very much, Sir John Hall, my co-workers, our very able assistant principal, Mr. Venerio Dalimini, 
Mrs. Uh, Salve Australia and Mrs. Jennifer Rowari with our equally able department heads and officers in charge in junior high school, uh, Ma'am Astoria Velasco, Sir Roger Banyal, Ma'am Rosa Barbadillo. Sir Nestor Brito, Mr. Victor Vargas, Ma'am Dolores Natario, Ma'am Tessie Babasoro, Ma'am Emma Camu, and of course with our subject group heads, uh, Sir Rolando Monte Alegre, Dr. Daisy Britannico, Ma'am Annalyn Berlaza, uh, Mr. Reynaldo Cañezo, Dr. Vicente Olavario. Our congratulations to Dr. Olavario for being the third placer in the recently concluded Rabbit David Tilt. Uh, Dr. Abigail Sente, Mr. Leo Bornilia, Dr. Aladino Benavente, and uh, Mrs. Eva Israel. Our Administrative Officer for Ma'am Libertad Cabais and our AO2, Irene Rivera. The different section heads, our teaching and non-teaching personnel. May I especially announce our, our National Trainer Participant Broadcaster, Mr. Francisco Alamares. Congratulations and to our uh, soon to be promoted master teachers one and two may i have the pleasure to announce that uh, we have several teachers or master teachers who have just qualified in the recently conducted ranking let's give our congratulations to mrs rebecca rebecca Bubier. Mrs. Asuncion Bola, uh, Mrs. Uh, Josephine Mendoza, Mr. Winston Cargolio, Mr. Noriel, uh, I, I forgot the family name of Noriel Rodejo, Mr. Noriel Rodejo, uh, Ma'am Tessie Colientes, and Al uh, Biron. Congratulations to all of you. A little later, I will give an announcement as to the status of the reclassification of Master Teacher 1, uh, whose documents are now at the regional office of the Department of Education. Our job order and LGU funded staff, we are thankful to the Office of the Mayor, the Offices of the Mayor and Vice Mayor for, for uh, deploying our additional security guards or watchmen, and one maintenance staff. Uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, and welcome to the second teleconference for the Tobacco National High School personnel. Before I start, may I be the first to greet, to greet each one. Happy Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Month celebration. Let me begin by sharing to you our purpose, why we are holding our second teleconference. We would like to share fresh and first-hand information, actions, directives, and other initiatives from the Department of Education's officials to all internal stakeholders, specifically on the school's implementation of the learning delivery modalities chosen by our parents for their children for the academic year 2020-2021. Specifically, this conference aims to, number one, uh, give updates on the following. Tobacco National High School preliminary activities or action steps for the October 5, 2020 opening of classes. Number two, continuing professional development of teachers specifically on promotion, classification, ERF, webinars, trainings, 
learning action cells and other educational activities and other initiatives for the growth and development of school personnel. The second is orient or reorient you all of the teachers, guides, and procedures anchored on the school SDO and DEPED Basic Education Learning Continu Continuity Plan or BELCP on the four learning delivery modalities identified by our dear parents for their children based on their available resources in actual context at their homes and communities as reflected in the learner enrollment survey form, LESF or summary, prepared by our section advisors, general advisors, level supervisors, assistant principals, then our IT coordinator and MS in charge. Let me now proceed to our business meeting proper. Uh, since we have no quorum, as per Google Sheets, care of our IT team, headed by Jules Cargulio, and with a department section track or attendance checking in charge. Let me now start my up, my update to all of you. Let me start with the preliminaries or action steps for the implementation of the learning delivery modality for the academic year 2020-2021. May I request cars to present the, the data on the identified LDMs by our parents for their children. Okay, uh, let me share to you the final prepared distance learning modalities. I, I would like to, of course, extend my gratitude specifically to our section advisors for patiently tracking our students. Uh, I know you have not slept well, including us, but you know, my dear friends, the, the data are very important because this is where we there, this is where we base our decision as to the use of the money of the government, the assignment of teachers, the allocation of resources, and other purposes. So as you could see in the screen, uh, there are about 700, 7,000, I should say, 7,372 learners who will be under the modular distance learning modality. The highest is grade seven, that's 1,520, followed by the grade nine, then grade eight, then grade 10, grade 11, and the last is grade 12. These are our learners who signified that they would like to learn using the printed materials. While there are 1,536 students who said that they would like to, to be learning through the modular distance learning using digital, the highest is grade 10, that's 405, but if you will recall, before this meeting, 100% of the grade 10 students signified that they would like to go online. However, after our final survey, and it shows here that they, they finally opted to use the uh, digital modules. And thank you for doing that for the school, which is very important. You see, we would be able to lessen our expenses for the reproduction of the modules. The third modality is the online distance learning, which has a total of 814 students. The highest is from grade eight, that's one, 179. We could already organize at least three to four sections here for the online classes. I should I say, I'm sorry, it's grade 11, 245 pala, 245 students who would like to be taught online and that's almost equivalent to five sections 
grade 7, followed by grade 8, 179, then grade 7, 129, grade 10, 93, grade 9, 99, and grade 12, 69. Okay, so we have also a consider considerable number of students who would like to be taught online. Then the last modality is the radio take or TV broadcast instruction with the combination of the use of print or digital materials. Uh, we have a total of 205. But later, there is another survey or a data summary to be presented later on by ASP General Rari as to the, the, the actual number of data. But this one is used for the preparation of the school, which is an output in a training being conducted by the SDO and RO to the school heads. Okay, so what, what does the data telling us regarding the, the final prepared distance learning modalities? It tells us that we have to respect the, the decision of the parents. Say, for instance, the parents opted that their children should be taught online, and we will have to implement online. That means that they have, they have all the resources that they can share to the school. And at the same time, the school has also the resources needed for the implementation of the online distance learning. A little later, ASP Rens Balingbing will will share to you our 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 plans, our the guides and the policies. Okay. Now let me what are we now going to do? What are we now going to do so that we would be able to we would be able to actualize, we would be able to serve our students considering the the preferred distance learning modalities. So what action, what actions will we take to hasten our preparation during the opening of classes, which is scheduled on, on August 5? The first is here, orientation. Our target is 100% orientation should have been conducted to teaching and non-teaching staff, which is scheduled today. I think if you could still remember, we had our district webinar focusing on the different modalities, but this time we can already give an update to all of you regarding the four paper distance learning modalities for the Tabaco National High School students. Then, an orientation for parents and students, which is scheduled on September 26, which we agreed during our first teleconference. And the second is, okay, thank you, Cars. And the second is, 100% of teachers should have been trained on the use of technology and other platforms and applications to be equipped with ICT skills to effectively deliver MELPs or the minimum, minimum learning competence comp competencies, thus for mastery and learners' achievement. As of today, there were about 35, there were 35 teachers who were trained by our IT, IT team, thank you for that. And per survey, per survey, which I conducted one week ago, it shows that there are 70, 73, 73 teachers who have the capability to teach online. We still have 333 teachers that need to be to be trained along ICT and other other platforms, which will happen after this teleconference from 8 to 11, which is spelled out in our basic education learning continuity plan along technical assistance. Next is 100% procurement of tools, supplies, 
and devices. For our online distance learning, we are, we are augmenting the use of the gadgets. We have already procured 34 laptops to those teachers who don't have laptop. We can share that to you. Our department will be given a laptop. Uh, we are going to to pay this 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 month, this month, as reported to me by our accountant, Ivy, and another 34, 34 laptops to be bought comes our our funds for the last quarter of the year. That's from October until December. We also have procured 48 packets Wi-Fi plus more aside from the the 50 packets Wi-Fi that we have which we used during the the simulation of the online online learning which we started uh, started in August that was I think 24 then until the present we also have to be able to modernize our school and and make the campus Wi-Fi, although our students are not yet around, but that is a preparation if the IETF and the UH allow the face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, we have an additional service provider, which is Converts. And for the information of everybody, we have already set up six online classrooms. These online classrooms have ubiquities and router devices, which will be used by our teachers for the conduct of the online classes. Uh, each classroom has ubiquity. This is 10 times stronger than the LAN. And thank you. Thank you to our IT team and Paul Almonte for helping us do the modernization. Uh, two classrooms have already been prepared while the four just waiting for the delivery of the other devices so that the four classrooms can have already the, the needed devices so that the other four classrooms can be used for the online classes. We thought of setting up the six classrooms because each classroom is intended for every level. That is where our teachers will conduct the teaching and learning process through the Google Google Apps Google applications. We we also have to upgrade our eight ICT laboratories, which which our teachers and our students can use for future use. But for today, that uh, for today, our teachers can utilize our laboratories for the on, online teaching. We also have decided to, to buy ring light and headphones, which will be used in the online, online classes. Then big boxes, a total of 269, where the envelopes inside are inside, our modules are inside the in envelopes to be stored in the big boxes uh, this week. We expect the arrival of the big boxes, the envelopes. And of course, we also have procured flash drives. We shall be using the flash drives. We shall be using the flash drives to, to, to load the contents of the modules and even the activity sheets to our students. Uh -oh. Those who signify that they would like to be taught digitally. So we have flash drives. Each, uh, each teacher or subject teacher shall be given one flash drive where they could, they could lo load the contents of the activity sheets and another extra flash drives to be used by our students so that the contents of the modules to the flash drives can be transferred to the gadgets of our students who signified uh, that they will use the module the module digitally we will also be on on canvas na po yung uv lights the uv lights shall be used for the disinfection of the returned answer sheets and activity sheets 
I have requested uh, Maris and uh, Tam to to prepare that uh, procedures on how we are going to do it, so that uh, our teachers, you teachers, our our heads are free from the contagion. So that's part of the plan. Uh -oh. Then, of course, with the use of the gloves, uh, face mask, face shield, alcohols, and even vitamins. Uh, thank you, thank you, ma'am, ma'am Hilda and ma'am Linda, for preparing the proposal for the God. And we shall be buying uh, vitamins for each one of us. And I have just talked with our with our with our accountant that. It can be bought this this month or this October. For your information, also we have established a help help desk personnel specifically on the conduct of the online classes, and I have requested our IT team and Paul Almonte to be the in charge. This they are going to answer all the queries, all the questions and clarifications regarding online classes. Uh, we shall offer that services 24-07 because that is a non-negotiable requirement as, as mentioned or as instructed by the Department of Education. As to the module delivery or module production, uh, thank you and congratulations to all the heads of the junior high school because we are done already with the week one module reproduction. Thank you po ASP being for for leading this very important, this very crucial task uh, for our children. As you will note, we have reproduced more than 2,000 modules because that was our idea basing it from the LESF. But in week two, we shall follow the total number of learners to be given modules. Uh, as an example, in grade 12, in grade, I don't have a hard copy. In grade 12, almost 690 lang yata yun. Uh, so that would be the number of modules to be reproduced for week two, onwards or week one onwards ano po ma'am jen asps jen and ren kasi we have already the data the actual data and nasa nasa bidding na tayo we will have the bidding this week uh -oh. for your information the the modules of the junior high school are reproduced inside the school because we have two machines a rice grab machines but lately uh, two times siyang nasira. But what I did uh, was that I requested the gestetner, the gestetner, the president to, if we could be lent one machine to to reinforce our machines and positive naman po yung gestetner. Any day this week, it will be delivered. I asked the gestetner in charge what would be our obligation he told us that there will be no obligation. They are just going to help us. So Jastitner is our partner. And soon, Yung Canon will also be joining us. Most probably will be our partner. And we also would like to give our thanks to the GPTA school year 2019-2020 for responding positively to the request of the school. That is an additional rice graph. I was... I was informed by the GPTA president, Mr. Nell Mualoy, that they are going to donate another rice grub machine for the reproduction of the modules, which will help us hasten the reproduction once it's available. And of course, we we also are waiting for the donations to be to be given to us by the LGU through our dear mayor. Kusel and the General Alumni Association through through Mam Oden, the president of the association. At the senior high school, for the information of everybody, senior high school modules shall be done through Canvas, and whoever wins in the 
in the bidding, that supplier will be the one responsible for the reproduction of all the modules for senior high schools. As to the delivery by barangay and municipality, we have already started our coordination, our partnership with the barangay captains and the different mayors of the first district of Albay. We are happy to inform you that everybody has positively responded to our requests. Everybody is happy to be partners of Tobacco National High School in terms of the delivery of the modules, retrieval of the modules, retrieval of the answer sheets and, and uh, the activity sheets. Though we have just agreed that the modules shall be kept na lang muna sa bahay ng mga magulang natin. Uh, to be able to to uh, avoid avoid transmission, so all our modules shall be stored first in the house in the homes of our parents. Uh, yung in church jan sa cluster it it has been clustered or it was clustered. Cluster one A will be under the care of ASP being Australia. Cluster one B will be under the care of ASP January. Then the other two clusters that's outside the back of the city that will be under the watch of ASP RENS and and your your uh yours truly I have sought the assistance of other NTP, say our guidance counselors and nurse to be with me in the in the necessary coordinations and communication with the officials. For your information, they are our partners in the implementation of the learning delivery modality specifically along the the modular modular approach and other and other activities programs and projects of the school as to the rollout uh, we are very happy to to inform you of course you have seen our video that we have su successfully conducted the pilot for the online delivery learning and we are very much thankful to everyone from the central office, regional office, to the division office, and much more the school for ensuring that the school that the school is ready for the implementation of the online delivery on online online delivery classes, online delivery learning. And we are very much thankful to those who have helped us for the information of everybody. We have followed the principle of continuous improvement. There were several experts who observed our implementation of the simulation through and through, from start to the last. And all of these things uh, followed, followed the standards set by the Department of Education. All of the requirements were met set by the Department of Education. And as per recommendation of the monitoring and evaluation experts, they have reported to our to our superintendent and the regional director that we have met the requirements and followed the standards. And so Tobacco National High School is ready for the implementation of the online classes, online delivery learning. Uh, yung sa modular natin, since our modules are already ready, specifically for junior high school, we shall also have our simulation to be conducted uh, to be conducted on September 14. We have identified Panal and Buang for the barangays in Tobacco City and outside Tobacco City. We have identified. Malinao and Bakakai as our pilot municipalities. So we shall do that on September 14. And of course, the team members that have been assigned are likewise expected to be with us in this very important activity. Yung radio at saka television, uh, soon it will be updated. Uh -oh. Because this is DepEd, DepEd prepared, DepEd provided materials and packages. So, magigintay lang po tayo. 
yung organization of classes, learning management, and other resource management. Uh, our assistant principals have already reported to me that the class programs are ready, that the teachers work quick, weekly, home learning plan are ready. The teachers have already been given teaching loads, considering, of course, as, aside from that, considering the other duties and functions of a teacher. Then we still have to, to, to be with our, to join our barangay captains and our municipal mayors requesting volunteers for the implementation of, of the LDM, specifically on the use of the modules, because we need volunteers. We have likewise partnered with the GPTA. We have assigned GPTA officers per barangay and per municipality to assist us in the systematic, the systematic uh, distribution of our modules and even the retrieval. They have already signified their support to this kind of undertaking. Of course, our classrooms are, as of the moment are used for the storage of the modules and we still have locally stranded individuals who are with us. But later, I will have to ask, say, our dear mayor, our superintendent, and our regional director as to until when the, the use of the school as a quarantine facility shall end. Uh, I still need to consult them regarding that. Then we shall have disinfection classrooms. I am very much thankful to Tam because she suggested that there must be, we, we should purchase UV, light, UV lights for the disinfection of the, of the activity sheets and the answer sheets. As to the process, later it will be shared during our next teleconference so that you are updated, you know what you are going to do. Then we are, we are on the process of negotiation. Nagakanbas na po tayo for the transportation of, of our modules per barangay, <coughs> per barangay, Rent, we shall be renting padjak and tricycles that will, be, that will be used for the distribution of the modules and retrieval of the answer sheets and the activity sheets. Ang gagawin lang po, si Helen, may dala na pong pera, may cash na siya, ika-cash advance, through a cash advance, si Helen ang hawak ng pera, Pag dumating po dito yung tricycle drivers, pajak drivers, immediately magbabayad na si Helen, magpipirma lang sila. Tapos pagbalik naman, bayad naman po yung school. Kaya ang gagawin lang po natin, i-insure natin na yung modules ay delivered, delivered to the designated or assigned area. Then of course, kasabay po sa transportation, free transportation sa mga teachers natin who will be on home visitation because it is very necessary. And of course, kasabay po dyan yung, yung ating internet allowance because we have been doing our tasks remotely. Uh -oh. Kahit gabi na, ating gabi na, oh, napakaaga, nagtatrabaho pa rin, communicating with the parents. Uh -oh. Para pareho din po tayo. And well, appreciated ko po yung mga ginagawa nyo. Pagsakripisyo para po ma- magawa natin yung mga preliminary activities so that we ensure that there will be no hitch during the opening of classes. <coughs> uh, if you have, <coughs> sorry, if you have some questions, we will entertain after our, after the, the orientation on the for learning delivery modalities. My second agenda is about the continuing professional development of teachers. It has, been, it has been the mandate of the Department of Education to take care of all the personnel in the Department of Education to ensure that each one is growing professionally. And the DepEd has been doing that for all of us. Say, for instance, uh, the training now for all the school heads throughout the Philippines the training is also provided to, to the supervisors, the PSDSS, the superintendents, etc. 
after after the training of the school heads it will be cascaded to the teachers so the next group of the, of the next group of participants to be trained shall be the teachers by and by po maghintay lang po ng announcement because the cascading will also happen and the target the target participants are our teachers so ngayon po uh, let me just uh, give you some some guidance and some information regarding the school ranking which which we have been doing since last year uh, the instruction to us is that we just continue doing the school ranking so that every time a position is vacated because of say retirement promotion and other reasons immediately the vacant position shall be filled out or shall be filled in napaka importante po ini uh, after this uh, after this training this teleconference we shall we shall have an announcement of the ranking of of the T2 and T3 it means that the T1 T1 uh, we have a significant number of teachers who are T1 and I am strongly encouraging you to please join the ranking uh, to be T2 then yung T2 to join the ranking for, for T3 uh, let me walk you through to the requirements uh -oh. uh, it's based on dated order number 66 2007 here's an example of the ranking sheet or entitled individual evaluation sheet please take note uh, it says there the candidate's name educational qualification the present position proposed position cs eligibility one there are one two three four four criteria to be considered so that you will be promoted see for instance per letter a performance rating at least very sat satisfactory for the last three rating periods so this one is very important because this is 35 points so as much as possible uh, you aim for higher rating in your IPCRF if you have I, I believe everybody in the man is doing his or her job effectively and efficiently as long as you have all the MOV you can always justify that you can always be rated outstanding and for your information also the school and the division have targets for the IPCRF at least in every school 20% of the total personnel should have been rated outstanding that's our target every year why because that that has something to do about PBB pag marami ang outstanding tataas yung PBB natin then the next is your experience experience that is five points yung outstanding accomplishment please take note yung if you have been awarded as an outstanding employee of the year hindi ka masyadong mabasa cars if you have an innovation you have introduced you have introduced a system which uh, makes the transaction fast you have introduced an innovation where you are able to help say for instance struggling readers after introducing the, the project say all of them have become uh, say an independent reader from a struggling reader or a frustration uh, reader we would appreciate if your your innovation is something to do about improvement of the teaching learning process and helping students helping students improve in their in their subjects then we have res research and development projects we are strongly encouraging everyone to go on your research oh, oh. publication or authorship if you are an author consultation research speaker in trainings or seminars and workshops or symposia that's why in your department lack session or even in the school lack session 
we we can give others also the opportunity to be speakers in the training because they can be given points for that for promotion and the next is education and tra training we give 10 points per car per master's degree 15 points per master's degree 20 points for per car per doctoral degree and 25 points per doctoral degree so that's 25 points uh, training okay that's five points so it's very important that we have to continue growing professionally every time there are seminars or trainings that are announced for you to participate please do, do so though though in the regional and national levels we don't have a hand on that because it's the, the officials at the higher level uh, who selected as to who who will be participating in the regional and national trainings unless unless we are consulted so what i usually do is to consult also our assistant principals and the de department heads as to who will be given the opportunity to attend a training or a seminar but but of course we give equal opportunities to everybody if the situation is allowed siguro by and by oh, oh. kung may na assign na ngayon na magna national yung iba naman oh, oh. we also give others the chance to to grow oh, oh. parang may assign that's why we have an inventory of trainings participated by our teachers so those who have not been trained who have not been given the opportunity to attend a training these teachers are our priority <coughs> sorry are our priority then you have been you you have been assigned as chair of culture in a technical planning committee so take note whenever there are there are planning planning activities okay you join of course you will be you will be asked to join a committee so we also give others the chance kung ang committee chair na siya sa activity yun yung iba naman bibigyan natin uh -oh. kung hindi pa siya nagko committee chair siya ang bibigyan natin ng chance so we share the blessings to everybody and of course your potential potential letter e that's five points uh -oh. potential communication skills ability to present ideas alertness judgment and leadership ability uh -oh. that's five points another five points will be the psychosocial attributes and personality traits please adjust cars mm -mm. Uh, human relations uh -oh. that's very important uh, how we deal with others our peers our students to our parents to your heads to other stakeholders of the school uh -oh. that's human relations two points put in decisiveness two points then stress to tolerance one point so this criteria are used if you would like to be promoted as teacher two teacher three and head teachers okay speaking of the head teachers the vacancy uh, for the head teachers we shall have I think the ranking very soon those who are qualified must prepare must prepare the documents uh, I will just be following up as to when as to when are we going to to do the ranking including including the MAPE the, the MAPE master teacher position uh -oh. It needs again a request to be able to to open the MAPE master teacher position, and I need to write our SDS for that. Yung ERF, yung equivalent uh, rating form, may I request you to please just go to Mam AO Libby for the form. Uh, I I have learned. I'm very much thankful to the teachers who have been enrolled in MA or in doctoral very good that's very good that's part of continuing professional development uh -oh. 
you peel out the ERFs, then there are requirements to be attached, then submit it put to the SDO. I will endorse that, submit it to the SDO. 18 units, 18 units for T2 and completed academic requirements for T3. If you think that you have already, uh, you have already gotten that points, uh, please apply. Please prepare your documents. We also have, we also have series of webinars, trainings, locks, and other educational activities. For the information of everybody, oh yeah, you master teacher. Thank you, po, Cars. Uh, let me go back po to the master teachers. The criteria for the master teachers. Uh, I need to to share the information to you because uh, this is very crucial, especially that uh, you feel that that you are qualified and there are a few documents which have not been included in the in the submitted document at SDO. Napaka importante po ito ano uh, just part of an orientation and how uh, we prepare those uh, prospective master teachers, candidates for master teacher position, so what documents you are going to prepare and we have to abide with this criteria. Individual, which is, which is uh, in the individual rating sheet for the position of master teacher that is, hindi naman po nababago yung yung legal basis, MEC dapat order, or MEC order, I should say, number 10 series 1979. Napakatagal na po itong uh, legal basis na to. Uh, it's very important that you should have first shown all the documents for the qualification standards. Because if you have not submitted the documents for the QS, ranking will not uh, happen so you will be you will be excluded in the ranking for instance if you have missed to to show to the to the committee your transcript of records at least naka 18 units ka per master teacher one so you will be excluded in the ranking so that's very important so you have to go back to the requirements set by the department of education so that you would be able to participate to the ranking so what is the first criterion for uh, the master teacher position? Uh -oh. it, mentions, it mentions here leadership potential and accomplishments. Accomplishments are very important. In, it says here, introduced any of the following which has been adopted or used by the school or district. It says they are introduced. So if you have a proposal which has not been introduced, so that will never be counted. So it means that, that the innovation or the project has been implemented. Say for instance, dito curriculum or instructional materials, effective teaching technique or strategy, simplification of work, as in reporting system and recording record keeping or procedure that resulted in cost reduction and a worthwhile income generating project for pupils given recognition by higher official here po uh, what are the documents that you should prepare of course first and foremost uh, if you are given a special assignment number one is the issuance of the designation because you could not perform without the designation this is very important. Then, of course, to follow, the next thing that you are going to do if you are given a special assignment, say an advisor, a chairperson, it's very important that you have to prepare an action plan. Say, for instance, if you are an advisor of English club, you must have your own action plan, your own initiative, not the action plan prepared by the students because the action plan prepared by the students will also be used by the students in say in during the during the ranking for an award a leadership award so 
because you would like to be a master teacher, as an advisor of the organization, you should have your own action plan. What are your initiatives? What are you going to do as the advisor of the English club so that you would be able to improve the performance of the students? So that you would be able to, to enrich the curriculum, the K-12 curriculum. What are you going to do as an advisor so that you'd be able to achieve the mission, vision, core values of the Department of Education or supporting the school improvement plan? Yun po ang basis, ano? After the implementation, of course, all the documents are complete. Say, mapamitting ka, you must have an approved uh, letter to conduct a meeting. Then during the meeting, of course, you must have the minutes, then the attendance of the attendees, photos. Then after, say, conducting the activities or the, uh, yeah, the project, you must have your financial report. If you have raised, if you have conducted a fundraising activity, then what did you do with the proceeds? Mm -mm. Evidence is paren, evidence based paren. Then, ano yung impact non? What happened? So you have your accomplishment. So it's very important. The documents are very important. You have to complete the documents so that you will be given 20 points. Ang laban po paano dito? Zero or 20. So to be able to be given 20 points, you have to complete all the documents from the preliminaries or pre-implementation activities, during implementation and post-implementation activities. And it is a proposal, if it is a fundraising, our policy, of course, is to endorse your proposal to the SDS for her approval, which is very important. Tinitingnan po kasi ng chairman kung approve yun ng SDO. Kung approve lang sa school, they don't, they don't count, they don't consider that. So yung, yung proposal ng mga IT natin, the IT core team, and of course, the other other teachers and team who will be uh, proposing an activity or a training, uh, prepare your proposal so that that will be endorsed to to the SDS for her approval, and serve as subject coordinator or grade chairman for at least one year. Napaka importante po dito. Uh, I think those who prepared the class program should be given a designation with the corresponding duties and functions. So that you can consider that as your document for promotion, and you will be given 12 points. Then, of course, as a subject, as a subject coordinator, or the one assigned to prepare the class program, the program. Of course, you must have also your your own your own plans. Have all the documents. Ready all the documents. Ah, uh, dito na ba ako sa? Co coordinator of community project or activity. D dito po um, of a ro rural service improvement activity in community for at least two years. Dito we should have an agency or organization that that you have partnered. Oh, it must not be a school. Kasi ang sinabi dito an activity program of another agency. So, dapat yung mga documents ang heading niya. Say, for instance, ngayon, kung nakipartner tayo sa DSWD, yun ang heading niya. Kung nakipartner naman tayo sa barangay, ang heading niya is the barangay, not the school. Okay. Yung organized or managed in service activity or other similar activities at the school level, okay, you will be given 12 points if you, you are the chairman. Then, 7 points if you are the member. Ito naman, ang importante dito is it should have been endorsed to the superintendent and was approved so that you'd be able to claim, to claim points. All the complete documents from the planning to the implementation to the post-implementation, you have to complete all the documents so that you will be given 12 points. Ang nakikita ko lang medyo problema dito na may ginawa sa level natin sa isa department, hindi lang na-approve ni SDS. Kaya, please take note of that. If you have some initiatives or innovations in your department, uh, submit it here in the office, then endorse. I will endorse it to the superintendent for her approval. Yung meritorious achievement, napaka-importante. You have been a trainer, you have been a coach or a coordinator. Oo. 
I need coordinators po for Boy Scout and Girl Scout. Kung may gustong mag-volunteer, please let me know. Okay. And of course, if you would like to be a master teacher, you should have conducted a demonstration teaching. Of course, hindi ka naman po pwedeng mag-apply na master teacher kung hindi ka naman po mag-demo. Napaka-importante yung demo teaching. Okay. With the two major agenda, uh, yung other initiatives natin, of course, for the growth and development of the school personnel, it will just be known through an advisory or announcement. Uh, but I would like to specifically mention that on September 9, please join the webinar, digital webinar. It's sponsored by SMART, Department of Education, and uh, ano yan? data. It's a commission, data privacy commission. The topics are very, are, are, the topics are, are new to all of us and that is part of our professional continuing uh, development initiative. Please attend. Uh -oh. Yung other issues and concerns natin, I just, I just would like to, to, to remind everyone of the protocols. Protocols are very important. Why? So that there will be no, there will be no conflict. So that there will be no, no negative issue that will arise. We have to protect the name of Tobacco National High School. And protecting the name of Tobacco National High School is likewise protecting our names from the principal, the assistant principal, department heads, the teachers, the non-teaching, and others. We have to be very cautious of what we are thinking, what we are saying, and what we are doing. Uh, this is a reminder to everybody, especially yung, let's talk about the health, safety, and security protocols. Uh, I would like to assure everyone, especially our dear teachers uh, who have been doing their works at home, that the school uh, has been strictly following the DOH, the IATF, and local government unit protocols. We will never allow, we will, we will never allow that one of our members is affected by COVID. And of course, we have to take care of each other. Yung self-preservation self and self-protection is very, very important. So we have to take care of each other. Oo, kaya kung alam nyo na po na say for instance na contaminate yung, yung member ng family nyo inform your head sir, magka-quarantine po ako kasi, kasi yung, yung kapatid ko, asawa ko po ay nakasalamuhan niya yung asymptomatic siya pero nag-COVID positive okay. so let us know please, please inform us and of course before we before we we disseminate an information uh, let us be very responsible ibaripay nyo muna kaya ako when a head reports to me a certain situation i will always have to ask is that a verified situation are the data verified tanungin muna natin yung concerned na tao kung totoo yan o hindi and we will give them the right the right information we will give the complete information and of course, all the personnel are provided with the PPEs, yung face mask natin, yung face shield, yung alcohol. O, yung hindi pa po kumukuha, o, o, punta na lang po kay, kay June or kay Irene so that you would be able to use all the protective gears so that we would be able to protect ourselves. O, o. And of course, you see, you see that there are standard operation protocols to be followed when you enter Tobacco National High School. And please, please be assured that we have been taking, we have been taking care of everyone. Uh -oh. Don't say na dahil nagmamakulog ang Tobacco National High School. Grabe po ang pagmakulog ta sa kada saro. Dahil madapuan sa nakita kay saro. Uh, I just would like to request everyone to, to practice 
uh, self responsibility self preservation and self protection i remembered i remembered mayor cusel when she she informed me that there will be additional lsis i think that was in august and i just told our mayor that kami naman po dito mayor gumagawa rin po kami ng paraan para hindi kami hindi kami hindi kami magka covid and we have been doing strict strict protocols strict preservation mechanism so that there will be no transmission of covid uh, of course yung security protocols natin uh, yung bagong policy po ngayon that we shall be using face mask and face shield when entering any any establishments any offices so that's very important kung hindi pa kayo po nakakuha ng ng face shield oo oh, oh, may bago po tayong pinabiling face shield oo oh, oh, yung yung parang style baga ay may eyeglass ang frame niya meron na po tayo niya yung communication protocols uh, which is very important as much as possible we would like to be one to be one in the dissemination of information to the parents that's why I have suspended the work today, even our non-teaching personnel, our security guards, our GO, to listen. Why? Because if you have been listening to our, to our meeting today, you are our public information officers. Each personnel of the school is a public relation officer. So whenever you meet parents and students, whenever they ask questions, regarding our implementation of the learning delivery modality you are the best person to share that information to the parents so that's why po naga pinapaattend namin kayo lahat para isa lang po ang sasabihin natin sa mga magulang at saka sa mga estudyante natin and even our stakeholders if that is not your concern please leave it to to the officials of the school because that is their mandate but of course we entertain questions we entertain queries kung may ta tanong po kayo we will answer your questions we are very transparent in everything that we do in the school wala po tayong tinatago sa school very transparent po tayo and we are very we are very responsible public servants so yung communication natin if you have some if you have some things to be clarified, uh, by all means, wag po, like, da po ka mo magduwa-duwa na, hapo to nindu sa endong head, so sa endong pong assistant principals, uh, I would like to share to you an example. Ako, very thankful ako kay Roxy. Roxy, example kita. Oo. She was asking me regarding the smart. Smart. Smart for the information of everybody is our partner. There is a contract executed between the school and the SMART and being witnessed by the SDO officials. Uh, legal po yun. Uh, Ina-appreciate ko po yung mga ganun na nagtatanong. Oo. Kasi it clarifies things. Hindi tayo, hindi tayo na-highlight. Mm -mm. We are baga protecting the good name of Tabaco National High School. Any offensive message, any any negative message is a negative and offense, offensive message to all the members of the Baco National High School family. Ah, pakitake note nyo po yun, ano po. And napakaganda yung, maganda yung, yung sinusunod natin yung protocol. Oo. So that there will be no, there will be no problem or conflict. Just reminders po, friendly reminders to everybody. Oh, especially that that most of us are just at homes, then doing the work. Oh, oh. At least napakaganda itong i-increase natin yung, yung opportunity to meet together, opportunity to share to you what's happening in the school so that you can do the same also. You can do the same to our parents and students and other stakeholders. Yung dates to remember, uh, uh, we will just issue an advisory. Uh, I hope I was able to share with you the updates, very important updates for Tobacco National High School's consumption 
and for the consumption of our parents, students, and other stakeholders. And I wish to extend my gratitude to everyone, from the assistant principals, the department heads, subject group heads, our NTP, our NTP, our teachers, our job order staff, and the LGU funded uh, personnel for be for being with us today, uh, for listening. Uh, because, as I have said, you are our public information officers. You share, you share the complete and truthful information to our stakeholders. Uh, to one and all, good afternoon.